I would be reluctant to point to this moment or really any moment and saying like, this is like the pivotal moment of, of Carvana. Cause I, I do think all of like the really momentous moments and accomplishments were really just a product. Like it was a bunch of little things that all came together with a lot of people like buying in and working together and finding common ground and like all of these things that like never make it into like the book that would be written. But I, I think I've grown uh, a lot of appreciation for that over the years because there's there's not the movie moments. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of grind. It's a lot of stuff that like oftentimes doesn't get recognized that really, really matters. My favorite memory at Carvana has to be when we went public. I had the opportunity to fly to New York and experience it firsthand. And it was probably the best experience I've ever had. We were so excited. There was just like a buzz in the air and like, Everyone's talking about it in the office. Even though the company had grown substantially, the leadership team reached back and said, you know what, Sydney, we want you to be part of this. We gotta have you here with us when we ring the bell. And so to me, of course, that was super meaningful. Flying out to New York for that was, I think, like a once in a lifetime experience. Just being around like a lot of the original people that helped grow Carvana. We went from like that little small startup in like the side of a drive time building to like in New York on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. When we rang the opening bell, we were just so excited. It just, it was like a huge weight was lifted off our shoulders. Just the joy that everybody felt that moment at that moment was phenomenal. It's great. To find out that, you know, a few of us were selected to go on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, you know, be a part of uh, helping us to go public. Like, that was just so amazing. It's opportunity of a lifetime, really. You know, I have a recording of us where we're like, Carvana, Carvana, and we're all shouting and clapping. And I'm sure Ernie was probably a little bit embarrassed, but, and also very excited. Being invited to that, being a part of it, and I think my favorite part was seeing the joy in Ryan Keaton's face when he was like, can you believe it? We did it. And it was just so fun to be there and to celebrate with everybody. Looking around and just absorbing the experience, right? Like, you know, when you're kind of ringing the bell, it's just like, it's wild. Like the, the stock exchange floor is there and everything's kind of going crazy or whatnot. But like, just like being there with like a large number of our employees, seeing Summer, looking out in the crowd and seeing like friends and family. It's all those people that like had kind of like you know, run through the fire kind of again and again to get to that moment. I think it's certainly something that I'm never gonna forget. And uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was really incredible. So a thing that I think I know now that I'm glad I didn't know at the start of the company is just how hard everything is and how much harder it's gonna be than you could ever imagine. And I think the reason I'm glad I didn't know that is because I think that sometimes if you know how big of a hill you're trying to climb, it's very hard to even you know, get started. It's hard to take the first step. You know, I, I think there is beauty in the fact of being very naive. You know, we were all just like looking at the future with rose-colored glasses. And, uh, and I think that's okay, right? It enabled us to be very extremely optimistic and to get right back up when we got knocked down. You know, by the time you realize how big the hill is, you're far enough up, it's where you can make it the rest of the way. And I think that sometimes it's better if you don't know how many times you're gonna have to get up when you start, because otherwise you, you wouldn't even try. So I, I think I've learned a lot of lessons, but I'm glad I didn't know them. And sometimes I, I hope I forget them as we move forward from here. We just pushed through. And so I think the fact that we didn't know a lot back then, I think that's okay. And I don't know if I would change any of that.